Now to my plane 11 for tomorrow. And it took me long and hard to decide on this plane 11. Especially, I expect all that to return. And as you see there, I'm going with the same 11 that won the first two matches, except for Shea Hope or Shy Hope in place of Charles. I consider this plane 11 very long and hard. In fact, it was less than a hour ago I removed Chase and put in Obed McCoy. Chase bowling four overs for 28 runs. In that third ODI, you will take that every day. Every day, you will take that. Although at no stage did he look threatening to get a wicket, his economy of seven runs per over is world-class against a world-class Indian batting lineup, especially Tilka Varma, Yadav, Pande. These guys were batting when Chase was bowling. So his performance was credible. I even look at the fact that Odin Summit last year, same place in Fort Lauderdale at Lauder Hill, if what was then his best bowling performance for the West Indies at the time, that it happened right there. And having done so well against India in that T20 international match last year at Fort Lauderdale, the final match, I even considered if I should use Odin Summit. So I did think long and hard about this plane 11. But I also know that your plane 11 may be different from mine. And you're welcome to put your plane 11 in the chat. I said it earlier. The number of plane 11 that I've seen for the fourth match, none of these players would be in some of those plane 11. Now, I think the Indian will go into the match with the same team. I don't think they will make any change. Three spinners, three pace bowlers. Their strategy is solely around one man to me, and that is Nicholas Pura. If Pura bats early, they are going to bowl the three paces to him. If he doesn't bat early, they are going to bowl the leg spinners to who are batting because they think that the other batsmen cannot deal with the spin as good as Nicholas Pura. So that's my play in 11 